First, the coronavirus, and now looting. It is harder than ever before for some families in Chicago to get food. CBS 2's Marissa Parra joins us live. Marissa, you found a group of local women delivering acts of kindness. I did, and let me paint a picture for you first so you can get a sense of the need here. Just a few days ago, South Loop was a place that had a lot of options, but take a look over here. Trader Joe's boarded up and closed. If you go all the way down that road, same thing with Target, same thing with Walgreens. Now, luckily, Jewel Osco over my shoulder is open. However, what about the places that only had one store open to begin with and that one store is closed? Well, these group of women that I'm about to show you are helping to bridge the gap. Jessica Davenport Williams fills a shopping cart, but it's not for her. We're looking for, you know, potatoes, pasta, rice. Canned goods that can last on a shelf because the people who this food is for don't know when they'll be able to restock because they live in food deserts. South Shore, Woodlawn, uh, High Park, uh, Inglewood, Washington Park. Our communities are even more ravaged. Is devastating. Devastating because after a weekend of violence, getting food is even harder than before between checkpoints, shuttered doors, and long wait times. But these women are stepping up. We have to make sure that these babies have pampers and wipes and food. And that's something that can't wait. It's urgent. And neither can medication. It's just a complete food desert, pharmacy desert at this point, so people aren't able to access medicine. And while the women of Black Girls Break Bread have a long list of requests, people who are sending us pictures of the baby. Food. The long list and the long lines are worth it if it means saving lives by keeping families fed. You know, if it takes for us to come in and stand in line multiple times a day to be able to transport food uh, to our neighboring communities, that's what we're dedicated to do. If you'd like to donate to help them feed more families, you can find information on how to do that on our website. Just pull up CBS Chicago. Live from South Loop, Marissa Parra, CBS 2 News.